Hey everybody, I'm Dr. Seth. Today we're going to talk about eye movements. That's something that we do here at the clinic every day, all day, is we look at how specific eye movements are functioning and how they correlate with different parts of our brain. So let me draw a brain out real quick for you. Um, from the side, we have a frontal lobe, we have a parietal lobe, we have an occipital lobe and a temporal lobe, but we're not going to talk about those right now. We're just going to talk about basics. And then down here, we have a cerebellum. Okay, so let me color these out real quick. We have our frontal lobe. And what we do with our frontal lobe here is fast eye movements. So this is your ability to look at one target and then quickly move your eyes to another target, from one to another. That's frontal lobe. Now, we're going to focus on the parietal lobe. And that one is slow eye movements. That one is your ability to follow a target from here all the way across to the other side and back and vice versa. Okay, now the last part of this eye movement um, that we're going to focus on is in the cerebellum. And that is your ability to stop your eyes on a target. So again, with fast eye movements, stopping your eyes, starting from here, going to this target and keeping your eyes on that target that happens here in the cerebellum. So the way that we do this, is we run through a couple tests here in the office, checking fast eye movements, seeing how that frontal lobe's working. If we see those eye movements have difficulties starting or um, moving in that direction quickly, then we know, hey, a frontal lobe might be a little bit off. And they might also have complaints of poor decision making, lack of motivation, um, and things of that sort. We look at a parietal lobe. We see those eyes that follow a target, but they kind of jump. They're not as smooth as they need to be we notice, hey, a parietal lobe's a little bit off, and they might have issues with like sensory things, you know, understanding the environment, things touching their arms and legs that they might not like, different textures of food. We know, hey, parietal lobe's a little bit off. We need to rehab that part of the brain. And then again, checking off those fast eye movements, if those eyes double jump to get to a target or go past the target and come back, we know, hey, cerebellum's a little bit off. And cerebellum coordinates all of our movement. It helps us understand how we're moving and how other people are moving in relationship. So this is kind of just, the basic way that we evaluate a little bit of the brain, we have a lot more stuff that we look at, but this is the baseline of looking at how the brain functions.